YouTube, what's going on? This is going to be the last video for a little bit because i uh, got to get back to work and do all that essential stuff. Um, but I did want to thank everybody for subscribing because I think we're almost at 900, so we're right under 1,000. That's kind of the goal. Um, after that, I really don't care. It's just a personal thing. It'd be cool to see that. Um, but anyway, let's get to going here. Um, so explanatory statement versus explanatory statement. Okay. So we've got the basic version, um, which is still in always uh, 50 bucks. That won't change. Um, yeah, and all other people are selling it for, you know, more, uh, outrageously more. Don't really care. Um, the latest one here is the newest one, which combines all the old stuff plus the new stuff. Okay. Um, for those people who have already bought the old version, um, if you want the new version, I will give you that one for free. So don't trip. Um, anybody just uh, buying the um, the new version, the full uh, master version, then it's uh, the going price right now is 100 bucks, And that's where it's going to be. It's not going to go up, not going to go down. So 50 for the basic, 100 for the, the full. Okay, and both of them come with uh, the support files. So, but what are the differences? What's new? What's been added? Um, and all that jazz we're going to go over in just a minute. So before that, I definitely want to thank um, Theo, Drake, um, and uh, Chris, and a couple other people who've been helping um, with bits and pieces here and there. Um, and just, uh, you know, everybody who's brought this all together. Thank you guys for the donations. Um, let's get going. All right, so I apologize for the lighting. Um, this isn't the greatest, um, but we're going to try to get um, working on a new location, working on uh, getting that to be the main place. I'm gonna try to get rid of the light, so I apologize that you can't really see this all too clearly, um, but bear with me, okay? So that being said, um, what is the explanatory statement? Well, this is for people who need to do a DS-11 um, and want to uh, declare their U.S. national status, which was formerly known as state citizenship. Um, a lot of people, uh, you know, will say uh, they want to be an American sovereign. Well, this is actually what they mean to be, is a U.S. national. Um, the IRS and various departments recognize us as non um resident aliens so that kind of gives you the where the terminology is um so what's in well if you have the old uh explanatory statement then everything is pretty much the same okay one or two wordings that might have changed um but here's the new one and we'll go over a majority of what sections are in here and why so that way you don't have to buy it from me or anybody else you can actually just make your own um, I did a video like this before with the previous one, but now we're going to go over the, the, the master one um, and see what's on there. So this first section basically in yellow and red is for all those people so that they know when they get this file that um, to read it in full so you know any questions that you may be asked by the agency. Um, you're going to fill out any place that's yellow. You need to fill out and change and put your information in there. Don't leave it and send it in there because I'm pretty sure some people have. And I'm going to say that they probably don't want to keep seeing my names on stuff coming through. Put your name, your address, your, your uh, city uh, and state of birth. Um, remove or add any sections that you need to uh, make this your own. Change the wording. I'm going to be the first person to tell you I am not the best at like grammar and spelling. Um, thank God for spell check. So go through it, change and do whatever you need to do to make it yours. Okay. There's also going to be some sections in there where you might be like, well, I don't have a, um, this or a that. Well then remove it. Um, if, if you don't have it or if you just doesn't seem to make sense to you or whatever. And I'll kind of explain that as I get to those parts. So in here, um, you're going to want to put your address in there. Obviously underneath here is the, um, it says United States Department of State. That's where you can put your local um, center at, okay? Because they're not all the same centers. A lot of people were, you know, confused by that in the old um, explanatory statement. They weren't sure where to send it, etc. Um, so you want to put your local one in there. And above that, it just says attention, confidential, um, 
file uh, should be sent to the CEO, CFO, uh, district manager. Now, they're not really going to send it to them, but you want to put that there so it goes to at least the higher, the highest person authorized to check their mail um, versus a low-level functionary. All right, so in the new one, uh, which this is also in the old one too, we just made it more uh, prevalent here. Uh, basically, this new gray section says uh, to the processing agent, if you're reading this and you don't know what it is, put it in the hands of somebody who is uh, a higher grade than you. That's basically what that is. Okay, all this information in here is basically the same. You're just saying that, you know, I might have uh, turned in a previous passport and my oath was wrong. Um, I didn't agree with the oath that I, I took in the original one. If this is your first one, you're going to want to change some of this first beginning part to say this is this is what I'm applying for and not I had a previous passport. OK, so they're going to be like, you never had a passport before. Why are you saying that? So modify that section, people. OK, um, as we go down here, something new in the master explanatory statement um, is we've added the actual definition of what a private person means. Um, in that, it basically just says that uh, you're not a government entity, okay? You're outside of anything that is their jurisdiction, government, employee, you know, things of that nature. So, um, moving right along, um, basically just kind of brings in that uh, uh, information on their request for your social security number. If you watched my other video, it talked about how really in the DS-11, there's two sections. There's the part where you put your, your social security number and there's other part where you put your other information and you think you're copying it twice. Or you're thinking, you know, if I fill this out, I get denied because of my social or whatever. Well, this is just my theory, but the first section is really who's, who's filling out the application. And the second section is, which is page two of two, um, the person who's actually applying. So the person actually applying is not putting in their social security number, but the person who's doing it for you, usually it's you, is. And if that person uh, puts their social security number in there and they get denied, um, they're denying that person, but not the actual applicant. So the filler outer -er person is getting denied, but not you as the person who's filling out the, or who's getting that passport. So. That's why I think they have the different sections. This talks about um, that you know you have the right to not put a social in there, and it backs it up with all the um, legal uh, laws and stats that back that statement up. So, but typically you're going to put your social in anyway. Um, but don't put all zeros. That's always bad. But uh, you can leave it blank. Um, I have never left mine blank because you know what they have it anyway. Um, all they're going to do is say, okay, we're just going to see if you had a previous passport or anything else with this name, check it out. And that's what's going to happen anyway. So, um, but this basically tells them that yes, it's in there. I'm not making any claim to it. I'm not liable. I'm not responsible. I'm just putting it in there because basically you're telling me on this application that I, it has to be in there, you know? So that's what that is. Okay. So, and that's been in the previous, the basic passport. Um, explanatory statement, but a lot of people who have made their own that are now selling them following suit um, don't have some of these sections in here. So I'm sure they're going to be updating theirs as well. So thanks for uh, imitating the greatness. I appreciate it, guys. All right. So going on, um, all these sections are uh, the same. So if you have the old one, you've got all this information. Um, we actually have the rewritten oath in here which is the same as the old one, and the new one has it as well. Um, now, what's new in this one? Um, the old one was seven pages. The new one is 18 pages. So there is a significant amount of new information um, pertaining to uh, your passport explanatory statement. This particular section is the International Covenant on uh, Civil Rights and Political Rights. So basically, the all the major states got together and uh, around the you know the world and basically came up with these fair set of rules for being you know being able to worship your way uh, your political views won't be infringed upon um, 
how your you know your lifestyle and thing you can be straight gay or whatever you want basically that's their covenant um, of information it's free to get and so we have included that in there because uh, basically you're just saying hey i won't harm you you won't harm me this is what i believe so um moving through that uh let's see uh then um the next section that we've added um basically just going to talk about that you're you're born free your your rights um you agree with these international um uh group no i won't say groups uh states um you know like the united states europe whatever um that basically say that uh you were born free and so this goes into um, a number of different articles on it that they've all agreed to and so we're agreeing to them as well you don't have to have that in there but uh it basically just means you have like the freedom of you believe in the freedom to work wherever you want to work not to be um uh you know be in a situation where uh, uh what is it uh freedom of choice for employment of religion of faith uh, all those kind of things um so uh let's see what went on okay so we've added those sections next is the um this new section is the in addition to um the application or in addition to the this being for the explanatory statement you're also going to be formally requesting a certificate of non-citizen um, national uh, certificate, basically. So we have gone through and followed their procedures from their website and put that those sections in there. And we're basically telling them that we have satisfied that and um, that you want to apply for that certificate. Now, they may or may not send that because um, they, uh, even on the website, talk about how they don't believe that this is something that they need to just start sending out and issuing to people because they don't want you to have your U.S. national status. Okay, so they're for damn sure not going to want to just go, okay, hey, here you go. Use this anytime you get pulled over so the cop doesn't have any standing on you or jurisdiction or when you go to the court, this, that, and the other. Um, and don't forget to bring your constitution because, you know, um, so they're not going to give you these things because really they believe, truly believe, if they even even certain ones of them know about it, that they don't need to tell you that you're free or that you're a U.S. national and that you're above these foreign magistrate courts um, in most regards, and um, because that's what that's what you are. But they don't want you to know that. So this we're adding in there because one, it gives a definition of what is a U.S. national, um, and then it also tells you how to declare that. And um, you're also formally asking, like I said, for the certificate. So if they send it to you, great. If they don't, don't feel bad or mad or sad um, because we're just kind of using it and it's a plus if you get it. And if not, you're, this is still part of your record that you're claiming it, which is what you want. So that's why we're putting in all this extra information because then it's on file um, for anything in the future. So like, let's say you go to court and they're like, well, you're this and you're that and blah, blah, blah for whatever. Okay. Well, this becomes part of their master file. Okay. So you've, uh, you've put it out there for due notice. Um, they can't say that you didn't say that, um, uh, you were never a national or you didn't say specifically that, you know, whatever, or you declared that you're not a U.S. citizen. It's all here, okay? So just like when you do like a UCC1 filing, um, you're declaring in that particular arena um, that you have a lien against whatever, you know, yourself for X amount covering you with protection for this, that, and the other, okay? So it's a matter of public file, um, which will be down below might be the full description of that information on and on how to do it down there. If not, it will be. Um, so once again, putting these things on public record in the, in the right um, uh, domains, if you will, um, are essential to uh, you living in the private. So well, let's move on. 
All right, so that section's in there. That's new. Um, and then a little bit more information on Immigration and Nationality Act. That's in here as well. Um, so that's a new section. Um, this section is newer, but it's also in the old one, which is what we're going to refer to as the basic explanatory statement. Um, this just came in, so it's in the, that first version, and it's in this final version. Um, and with this one, it is that um, we were able to find the actual endorsement code, which is 9-all, which talks about the difference between being a national where it's in a U.S. citizen and where it's supposed to be placed. So we're formally requesting that. So that's new, but it's new for both. So for all those people out there who are uh, watching mine to do their own uh, explanatory statements, um, this is what you guys need to have in there. So, all right, moving along. Um, their definition of a national. And then, of course, you're basically, um, in this one, signing um, here that you agree to all of that section. Um, and if you have the old one, it's the same thing. Um, the new one basically is the same thing. There's like one or two words that were changed, um, nothing major, um, nothing that's going to not get you the U.S. You know, national. It's just uh, worded to sound a little bit better in the final version. So, um, And then, of course, at the bottom, which is what some people weren't doing, um, is the uh, you want to get it notarized. Um, you don't have to by law or by choice. Um, I'm just doing it because then it's public record um, from the notary. The notary has uh, power of the secretary for the state. And so this adds acts as like a uh, verification witness um, slash more, makes it more formal. Um, and because you're making your, um, kind of like in an affidavit form-ish, um, you're kind of making your, your proclamation or your declaration, um, you want to swear to it. And that's what seals the deal, um, really, in making um, the it a public record and formal. So that is basically about it. The only last thing is um, documents and clothes. Now, whether you get the old one or the new one, both will have um, the supporting documents, which support this even more. Um, and then with the master, uh, which is the final version, um, has the now you can buy this particular file separate which is the family lineage support file you can buy just that um, you can also make it your own i think it's only like, it's like 25 bucks just for that one but what is it basically um you would create you can use mine by mine use mine as, as an example you don't have to but it's a, a file where you're going to kind of go through your family history um, from the time you guys came over here between certain dates um, whether you've got Native American in you or uh, British royalty, um, Australian royalty, whatever it is you want to claim, um, you put it in there in the in the format, and then basically you're going to stand on the principle that um, all these things you hold to be true, and this is in support of you being a U.S. national. Now, you don't, once again, you don't have to have that, but the latest file, um, the... Uh, master file this one does come with that one so you don't have to pay extra you don't have to buy the well if you want to get the first version which is 50 um uh, you can get this uh file as well but it would be the old file and then just a family lineage or you can get this one and it includes um, all those files so including the other support file so yeah there's a packet that goes along with this but it's all in the attempts of making it um, securing your U.S. national and letting them know by decree that you are all these things. Um, because like I said, in the other video, um, it says you must show your identity, meaning who are you, and uh, your documentation of proof of why you feel that you, through their requirements, are a U.S. national. Okay, because the days of just going check the box, I'm a state citizen, are gone, okay? Um, now you have to be specific and go in through it. So some people are doing it with a short paragraph. Um, this one, the big one, we're up to 18 pages of declaration um, with support to back up everything that we're talking about. 
our family line, um, their own terminology, the proper endorsement codes, and then lots of other stuff. I didn't cover everything, but the newest one has a, you know, a lot more in it. So um, obviously because it's 18 pages compared to seven. So um, it's up to you. Either one works. Um, you can create your own. So it's really up to you. But I've given you the steps and things that you should definitely put in yours to make it more solid. Um, and that's pretty much about it. So I apologize for this, you know, making this video a lot longer. But uh, for those people who actually want to know how to create one, what's in one, what should be in one. Um, and if it means that much to you, then these are the things that are going to help you um, get through. But this is also in, in conjunction with filling out your um, DS11 the correct way and avoiding as many pitfalls and traps um, of jurisdiction as possible. Um, so, because I know some people who have made their own um, explanatory statements and um, fill out their, their DS11, have called me for consultations, which I think the fee down there, uh, it's like 50 bucks an hour. Um, we'll go through and see where you, how you've done your application and your explanatory statement to one or the other. Um, and if you want longer, we can go a little bit longer. Uh, I try to set it up so that I've got an hour to two hours per person just in case. Um, and um, one person, um, well, Theo, uh, who had his uh, application done and wanted an explanatory statement, I just said, um, you know, would you mind if we go through your application? Well, I got you on the phone. I'm just kind of curious. So we actually went through it and we found, I think it was like two mistakes. And uh, he was actually super ecstatic. And I showed him why. I showed him, you know, how to look at it, why it's that way, and how you're reading it can, you know, make all the difference. And he was impressed. And once I taught him that sequence, he could see exactly why they would use that against you and how that draws you back into their jurisdiction. So that's about it, guys. Um, the Bad Wolf is out. Don't forget to hit that bell, like, and subscribe. I'll get the lights. Tell your friends and family. Don't forget to send just free or what's it, free, um, uh, free um, uh, messages of appreciation. I, I appreciate those. I appreciate everybody who subscribes. Um, sending donations of any amount, whether you buy something or not, also cool. Appreciate that. Um, so to all the subscribers, you guys are about to push uh, the channel over 1,000. Um, so cool. Um, but keep in mind, I'm not doing this to be like, um, I've got 5,000 or 10,000. Once I hit 1,000, that's enough for me. Um, it's just cool, okay? Because like I said, never expected to do this. I just kept all this knowledge to myself and was doing my own thing. Um, so it's kind of led through friends and family that I should put this out here. So for me, that's just cool. Um, this channel, like I said in the other video, will never be like, we've got a million, million subscribers, um, but it'll be a tool that when someone is looking for truth and just a regular Joe um, trying to live free or living in the private and that's the direction you want to go, um, this channel will be here and it'll be there for people's benefit. And as always, I try to give you guys a way to do it for yourself. But if you don't want to type it up um, or pay the exorbitant exuberant costs that some people are charging for the same thing or less, um, then here it is. All right. So that's about it. Enjoy your weekend. I would, but it's still raining here in Wisconsin. So it is what it is, but, uh, take care, stay healthy and, uh, talk to you guys later. So bad wolf over and out.